had quite the interesting day today. Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you all had a fantastic day. I want to get straight into this. We started the day off with what? Federal judge suggesting Q2 of 2024 trial for SEC case against Ripple execs. I did a video about this when it popped here in the morning. Basically, it's aiming for a jury trial, which is going to happen between April 1st June to June 30th, 2024. And uh, Judge Torres laid out the deadlines for the SEC and Ripple defense lawyers to submit certain motions. And so I talked a little bit about why I felt like this was actually really good news. And a lot of people had good sentiment about this as well, just given the fact that time was ticking to do an appeal. And a lot of us were thinking, hey, they may run out of time to do the appeal. What happens? Of course, SEC comes out and officially discloses plan to appeal Ripple and XRP victory. So they're trying to reverse Judge Torres. Torres stance on this. Now I talked about in the last video I, I did this afternoon about how, look, how much time do you think Judge Torres put into her decision? You think it was just an overnight decision? No, this has been going on for two and a half years. And so do you think it's going to be easy to appeal that decision? We're going to watch it very closely going forward. But Stuart Alderati, right? Chief legal officer at Ripple, over 35 years of experience, says the SEC does not have the right to appeal just yet. What they are asking for permission is to file the appeal. Ripple will file its response with the court next week. So stay tuned. It's going to be interesting, very interesting. But with all this news, and a lot of people say, oh my God, this is crazy. What happens to the price of XRP? Flat, actually slightly up. And so the market, at least thus far, has not had a shock in terms of price. And so what is truly happening in the world as we watch this whole movie play out and when we take a look at assets like XRP that did a 31,000 plus gainer back in 2017, we are seeing CBDCs becoming a thing of the future. It is going to happen 100% whether we like it or not. But if we're in on Ripple and Stellar, I believe that we can potentially benefit very greatly. Now, CBDCs, do I want the control? No. Obviously, no one wants to, more control, doesn't want the government to control them even more so than they already are. But the fact remains, CBDC giants, in terms of blockchain technology companies, are Ripple. And Ukraine is already working with Stellar, with their blockchain and their CBDC. And so we can take advantage of it moving into the system. It is scary, but look, growing institutional app appetite for uh, digital assets is like 99%, right? 99% of respondents stated that digital assets are now important to their organization. So what a lot of people are forgetting out there is there is a private sector. It's not all about the governments and it's about the private sector and there's always going to be competition out there. So we will see institutions come in and they will decide what blockchain they want to use for their personal use and what they want to do with their business. So I want to remind everyone of of that do not get fudded out this has all been confirmed this is all part of the plan so let me know your thoughts your opinions your comments all that good stuff in the comment section below and i will see you all in the next video